Well, there's campsite last night. We're in the current river section, mile 27. We finally got the bag on for the second time. You know, nothing like putting your bag on and figuring out that, okay, that part right there is supposed to go in the back pocket, not anywhere up front. Trail's right down there. Of course, you can see Lays is the dry area in there. So, <clears throat> I suppose you on down and find the trail. Uh, Get the moving, one last look, make sure I didn't leave anything. So it's supposed to have be rain again today. Uh, two blisters on the right foot and the, had to blow the air mattress up twice last night. So we'll see whether I finish this trail or not. <laughs> this may be a Hike this one in section and not through hike it, but anyway, we'll see how the day plays out. I still got two days anyway before we get to a possible place to easy place for the wife to pick me up at. So, all right, let's find the trail and get the motor on that way. 4074 Forest Road, <clears throat> right up here. I didn't get too far from that, so. I seen it on the map. You know, I had to be getting to uh, some level area. But man, it's rocky in here. Campsites are hard to find. Uh, so, I listened to some of my B roll that I shot yesterday. And I've been using the uh, mic. It's tied in with the headphones that I use listening to music. And notice the audio is pretty trashy, so it's gonna go off the phone now. See how it works. Well it just always <clears throat> never seems to be loud enough for me. Well, inReach just went off. Someone else I heard comment about the inReach. You know, I just don't think you can push the button and automatically have help on the way. That thing takes a little bit to figure out where you're at. Especially on a cloudy day like today. Alright. We're heading down here to Mint Spring. Uh, probably, it's a good spring. I'll probably get... <clears throat> refill and dump this agriculture water out that I picked up <clears throat> and uh, I think I got 10 miles to the next water possible with a pond so <clears throat> we'll see how that looks somewhere around in that Peck Ranch area I think where you get water at but alrighty let's see how this day goes That old right foot is sore. Blister right under the toes. I got it <clears throat> popped with a thread through it. And the one on the outside of the right heel is done the same way and got them taped up. So they are sore for sure. I think <clears throat> out here you probably, I'm using, I got a pair of Ultra Temp 2s, which is not the uh, not the long peats, it's a step above the long peats. And those little, there are several places on this trail that you just got fist size rocks all over the trail that you have to get through. And I don't know where that, constantly that shoe of rocking on the foot. So I never had to deal with a blister on the outside of that heel, it's always under them toes is where I normally get them, and where the Njinji toe socks liners, and that typically hampers it, but I think, <clears throat> I 
from here on out when I start hiking, it's automatically going to get some tape thrown under those toes. There's a blister there or not. I don't know why. So, uh, you can probably find a thicker sole shoe. I think it'll help me out. I tried the long feet when I first started hiking, and oof, they were not thick enough for my old feet. They made the bottom sore. I guess they probably eventually toughen up on a through hike, but when you're like me, you spend most days in work boots. And you get out here and you try to do a big hike, your old feet is what's going to have to pay. So. I stepped right in there and got water, dumped out the Pike Creek which most likely is agriculture runoff. Good clear bottom creek in there, <clears throat> spring. It is a flowing good, so that's at uh, 24.75. Mint spring is showed to be at 24. We may follow this up through here three quarters of a mile. It won't take no chances, so I watered up good. Drink about a liter and a half. <clears throat> Uh, next water's in about 10 miles, I think. Up at Pond in that Peck Ranch area. So, oh, there we go. We cross this thing, so that'd be a good place to get water to. So, alrighty. That's good water out there. I'm chilling at it around 24 and 3 quarters. So, All right, looks like we get to do some climbing. Climbing. Pike Creek Road. So, pretty good forest road. <clears throat> All right. Let's go up here just a little bit. Back in the woods. Alrighty, we've crossed Pike Creek Road. I just dropped off down in this drainage and it's showing mint spring. So, thinking that icon is either wrong or I'm not seeing any water down here. Now I'm at the 24 mile mark. So, if I, uh, if I find water, I'll jump back on here and take this video clip out put in their mint springs so I just dropped off down in that hole I would suspect that would have been a spring in there so I think 2475 is where that that water is flowing good and this it's been sprinkling but it hadn't had no hard enough rain for that to be a bona fide runoff so let's see what's over the hill here maybe this is it Yeah, this is probably it. This is, must be Mint Springs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Running straight out of the mountain. Right there it is. Cool. All right, here at mile 24, Mint Springs. And I uh, got a little road in there to it. And I can see a campsite down here. So, looks like it's flowing good. You cross this right on the trail. And I picked up that water back up there so i'm still good but this had been a good campsite like say if i could uh, i know marking these water sources is hard but see a bullfrog in there so, all right, Mint Springs. Well, you guys heard of a dog knot. How about a turtle knot? Two turtles hung up on the trail. Darn the luck. How's the pain, buddy? Why are you in pain? I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. 
Go across the forest road here. Mile marker round 22 is what guy says. And I'm obviously on the trail, or it shows me off the trail. There it is. So. And you know, guy doesn't have this trail as a trail that you can go in and just download. And you have to manually pull the map up and find the trail and do a little following the trail business where you just click on it and it populates it for you. That's what I built. I built a track so I know I'd be on. I have an idea where the trail is, so. Anyway, walked up here on top. Looks like I had some logging done in the past. Over here to my left. Looks like we're going to walk through it, it looks like. Get up here in the pine needle, so that's always that right place of yay. Them two blisters are hurting. So. Alrighty, we're just still moving along. Here goes a deer out through there. Well, the question is, how much KT tape do you need to bring? There you go. There you go. Left side. Give me a blister now. I think with the, the rocks and your feet constantly working in them shoes i got my shoes tied up as tight as they can get them but i think just the feet being wet and just walking around in there is what's causing them blister to show up so i felt that one coming on and i had the same feeling i had yesterday on the right side and i should have stopped and done that and now i got a big blister on there but on the right so let's see if we can avoid a big one there that little one's already started so we'll see Let mile about 20 and a half on the current river section. And I can use more of this trail love. We come in here to the bottom area and there's been pine trees and cedar trees and nice cushy ground. My feet says, yay, we need something like this every once in a while. Pretty neat little area in here. I haven't seen any water at all though, so. Definitely just be passing through. So it's kind of a mixture of hardwoods and pines and cedars. So pretty area. And walking up that wash coming in too was no fun. This full of fist sized rocks again. I guess what's tearing my feet up. So don't feel that left heel now. It's stinging, so hopefully got that one under control before it got too far. So we've been walking up this drainage here for a pretty good ways. Thankfully not down there in it, them rocks. Uh, it's honeysuckle I'm smelling or something up in here. But uh, this puts me, reminds me of my old grandma, Gertie. Uh, smelling that stuff around her house. I always had honeysuckles and all kinds of stuff. Makes you think of the past and make you think who would put the old uh, light beer can up there on a hoe. Pretty high reach too, so. Alrighty, we'll just keep cruising along here. I'll hop on here and talk about my old grandma, Gertie. Strong willed woman for sure. Tougher than boot leather. I remember as a kid, us going up to pond behind her place to fish and uh, one of my uncles carried her chair up there to sit in she'd sit down there it's a oh, it's probably a quarter half mile walk we got up there and she handed me a fruit jar and said son reach out there get away from that edge 
And uh, dip me up some of that clear pond water, please. It's okay. I done it. She downed that quart of pond water like it was nothing. I think most of us nowadays would be uh, blowing at both ends. We're not that tough anymore. So, everything processed that we eat. So, but anyway, good thoughts about my grandma. OT Spur Trail. All right. Well, they don't look like much of a spur trail to me. Woo wee. Well, I'm thinking no one uses that thing. Alright, let me pop the map out here and figure out where I'm at. Okay, I'm at the south end of the Peck Ranch. Is where I'm at here. Which is pretty cool. Introducing elk in here again. Uh, when I started the hike, I was supposed to check the website. I never find nothing whether they tell you it's closed or not. And I guess they'd put up a sign here if it was closed to hikers. So, um, looks like the trail's over here. And get lucky, you may see some elk. So, I'm assuming, you know, what happens when you assume stuff is the road is the trail. I don't see nothing over there. No use walking in the grass and picking up ticks if you don't have to. So, we're on the, I guess that spur trail must have been the, uh, bypass when they close it why well, it didn't look like they said it's not maintained on their paid paper so alrighty just cruise along here get out in the open see some stuff though so that's cool we walk somewhere about a mile up in the peck ranch and here's where we're going to get off the road and that tree is double blazed in there. Be so watching for it. The road is pretty crazy, so I gave my old, uh, sore feet a little rest. All right, back into the woods we go. And thankful that it was overcast because that could have been hot to walk. Been hot out there in the sunshine. Alrighty, looking for this pond up here. Alrighty, I just, uh, I think mile 18.5, or 17.5 I guess it is, where, uh, pond, but that's good clean water right there, so I took it there, tanked up again, and, uh, packing the water kit back up, I keep it in an orange bag, you just saw your squeeze, and I can't, uh, stress enough on having you a dipper, dip that water out of shallow just like it was, wasn't that deep so i'd have a hard time getting that bag full if i was trying to get water and just as you let water into that bag you can also watch and see how many squigglies and stuff going in that you don't want in there that you can cut out so it always helps that's a 16 ounce bag sorry your bag that i've cut off it's perfectly in my little bag it just tucks around there and rides right there makes a nice dipper well, there's the pond that's in the Peck Ranch trail part or water source, which upstream from that pond, the water's running good. So, better off to go upstream and catch it running. I didn't walk, shoot 200 yards, I was almost on top of that pond. So, must be the main water source for the elk herd all kinds of droppings back up there 
on the trail. The trucker's been up here working. That's cool. So there's your pond on the Peck Ranch part of the hike. So let's get on down through here. So I missed a turn right down there, but there's still some signs out there on the trees where the trail used to go out into that field. And there is a briar patch down there that I went through and stopped and came back. With that sinking feeling and I'm off trail. So I guess they decided to bypass the Peck Ranch briar patch. At some point in time they take the signs off the trees down there. Or get all of them off, how about that? So this is obviously the trail up here. Man, that was a mess. So I am back on trail. Where I'm supposed to be. I think if I'd have stayed on that briar patch, I'd walked right out at that Y. So trail takes you back up in the top of the mountain. Cross you down at that creek. And uh Cross this one and go back to climbing. Very pretty in here. Man, I'm so thankful for this overcast day. Uh, that cool air feels good. Huh, looks like I've got a car wash. Get the feet good and wet so we can find us one we climb now. Walk across over here. Here, one of these fields has been planted. I guess this is ryegrass, maybe. I don't know what I'm walking through. 100% sure. Some type of cover crop. Alright, let's get a swig of water and take off up through there. Come up across that road again. We come up by that road. Uh, I guess this ranch has got roads all over it, I'm assuming. So back off into the brush we go. I think I'm getting pretty close to walking out of it, but I guess not. Alrighty. Let's go find that next water source and take a pack off break and eat something. North end of the Peck Ranch. Now she's back out on this road here. Creek's supposed to be down here somewhere, so it's raining, so I ain't gonna film much. Gonna put the camera back, uh, phone back in the pocket and get the umbrella out, really. All right, Rogers Creek's running good. It's starting to rain pretty good, so we'll step up here to just a minute and figure out uh, whether I need to come back down here and grab water or not. Been cool, so I hadn't went through as much water as I've been going through, which that's good. We got the mileage to Ritter Creek, I believe, my next one. Okay, should we go back off in the woods? Uh, no, nope, it goes the other way. All right. Back over in pine trees where it get me so wet. Which the whole thing had a bath, so uh, I'm not complaining. 12 5 of the current river section, not much of a view. I've been climbing here pretty hard. I think the map shows us going all the way up, so not much of a view from here today. Here we go. This used to be a beautiful view. I that's a beautiful view too. So, still not up at the top yet. Still working our way. Well, I just passed mile marker 11 on the current river section. Come up on this little point here under the pine trees where it wasn't raining quite so hard on me. 
check to see where I was at. So I still got another mile and a half to Rogers Creek. And uh, I think that's going to be the stopping spot for the night. And hopefully the rain slack a little bit. I can get the tent up. Get in, get in there and get off my feet. We're about nine five, I was guessing. I don't think that's Rocky Creek. I thought we went trail went straight across, didn't it? Seen a spur head, spur trail up to the waterfall. So, but that water's running good. It's rained, but. They drain that much. So, pine trees be a good place to pick the old tin up. I like to get down there and get across the uh, creek itself. Okay, so that's where I'm at. There's your spur trail up to Rocky Falls, half mile. Looks as that's a must do, but it's raining. It's supposed to be thunderstorm tomorrow, so that's a day trip for me and the missus. So, let's go on down here and cross the creek coming out of that thing and find a place to camp. I guess I'm still on Pike Ranch. There's some horses. I'm pretty thin out in this green field. Alrighty, we're trying to get out here on the highway and get across one more low water crossing. So if it goes to raining hard tonight, I'll be out of some of the flood area. That's the plan anyway. I'm going to redo the, uh, the overview on this map because the one i done in the tent was not very good. And of course, I'm here at the house now. So we start over at 27. Took off that morning walking in the misty rain. Got over here to uh, uh, Mint Spring, which is a good good spring, good water source. And I got a good campsite in there. So kind of just cruised on along through there. Really don't remember a whole lot about it. Just walking the woods. Very pretty, kind of got dropped down in this bottom here as we headed up, getting up close to that Peck Ranch. And there's where I took a picture of the uh, sign in there and talked about how grown it up. That's that bypass that you're going to have to do if they got that thing closed for some reason uh, in there. So we just kind of came into the Peck Ranch area. Uh, this is real beautiful right in here. Just walk out through this open through here. You're finally able to see out across through there. And, they plant those fields with ryegrass or something or other. But we come on up through there. We come off that road and you start climbing back into the, the brush back over in here and following the trail. Cruising along here and right around there about 18, somewhere right in that area there. It's where I picked up the water in the creek instead of getting it out of that pond. So it was flowing. Come around that pond. Uh, come off down in there. It gets kind of growed up in that area. And that's where I kind of missed that turn. And uh, when I was headed off down this way, when I figured out there's still blazes on the trees down through there, and it's, so they done a bypass. Come up the mountain, back up the hill, across the road, back down into another creek. Got a little butt kicking climb right in there. Climb on up and through here, and all across there, there's a nice little walk. Coming across here, and we're coming back down on some more of the uh, Peck Ranch Road stuff in here, is where you're at in here again. When you cross that Rogers Creek. So we get back over to the next page, back over here to Rogers Creek. That nice climb across through here. And you get up in here, come up on this top, very beautiful in there. It was raining pretty hard, so I really couldn't, didn't, I didn't feel many up there at all before the rain is going on. That's Stigel uh, Mountain Glades, I think is what it actually calls on the other map, on the Gaia map. But, uh, We'd like to go back up there and explore one time. So come on up through here. Just cruising, pretty much just cruising along. Uh, I plan to go down here and cross Rocky Creek. Uh, that's supposed to be a must do, but it was raining that day to go up and look at the falls. That's another one I'm going to go back to. Anyway, get up here. Uh, I was going to cross Rocky Creek, get water, 
camp, but there are really no campsites in here. There's a camp before you cross it, so if you're going southbound, you cross Rocky Creek, get a nice camp spot. Uh, but headed on up that way. And we just kind of, at that point, it was there at Highway N. N is a low water crossing. And I know with the rain coming, that you know, all this stuff floods in there pretty easy, so I want to get across it. So basically, as soon as I crossed in there, and right near where I got that orange mark at, uh, is where I pulled up and camped at.